Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy President. Western Sydney Airport will be a game changer for Western Sydney. Sydney. With the bulldozers set to hit the Western Sydney Airport site by the end of this year with a record land moving project, this marks a symbolic and physical start of Sydney's long awaited second airport. The airport will result in thousands of jobs for the region, and new economic modelling confirms that Western Sydney locals are well placed to benefit from these opportunities. Western Sydney is one of the fastest growing regions in Australia with a population of over 2 million people and forecasts to continue to grow very rapidly. However, the region is experiencing a jobs shortage where every day 300,000 people commute outside Western Sydney for work, meaning there are not enough jobs for the number of workers who reside in Western Sydney. The second airport for Sydney is crucial to the future prosperity of Western Sydney. In the short term, the majority of jobs generated by Western Sydney Airport will be in the construction sector. Electricians, builders, labourers, plumbers and engineers will, will be just some of the occupations that will benefit from the government's $5.3 billion investment in constructing the airport. While the number of jobs during construction phase is significant, the even bigger prize will come once Western Sydney Airport is operational. In the early 2030s, there are expected to be over 13,000 direct jobs at the airport and many, many more at the, biz, uh, at the businesses uh, attracted to the region by the airport. Western Sydney Airport will be a world-class facility and the recent announcement that major domestic airlines including Qantas, Jetstar, Virgin and Tiger Airways will operate there displays a clear indication of the importance uh, that they see Western Sydney Airport having in the Austra future of the Australian domestic and international aviation sector. The New South Wales Government's planning initiatives such as the Western Sydney Priority Growth Area, the Western Sydney City Deal and the Aerotropolis Authority are uh, already encouraging new and exciting sectors to the area. The three 30-minute cities uh, is a planning game changer for the reason, region. The Aerotropolis will make a significant contribution to the estimated 200,000 new jobs Western Sydney, in Western, for Western Sydney by establishing a new high skills jobs hub in the region. The Aerotropolis and the region surrounding the airport is a priority for both the state and the federal governments, already attracting public investment of more than $20 billion dollars across transport, health and education infrastructure. Last week, the Premier, uh, Gladys Berejiklian, and the Minister of Western Sydney, Stuart Ayres, announced that four of New South Wales' leading universities are joining forces to create a world-class higher education institution in the heart of the new Western Sydney Aerotropolis, which, have a clear, which will have a clear focus on science, technology, engineering and mathematics education. This university project is the first of its kind in Australia, four universities coming together and the first new university built in Sydney in 50 years. It will transform Western Sydney for generations to come. It's not just the state and federal governments that are excited about this airport. My good old friends at Liverpool City Council have warmly welcomed this announcement and, ha and, ha has ha and Liverpool has been selected as the headquarters of the new Western Sydney Airport. Labor's Liverpool City Councillor Mayor Wendy Waller uh, has finally come on board and stated that, and I quote, this is the best possible news for Liverpool. It sets the city up for a very exciting future, a decade that will firmly establish Liverpool as a jumping off point for the new airport. The Western Sydney Airport is one of the biggest projects being built anywhere in Australia, unquote. The Federal uh, Shadow uh, Minister for Transport and Infrastructure has not been quiet about Western Sydney uh, either. Um, and he stated his support for, uh, on a number of occasions and he stated in 2017 that the airport quote means jobs, high value jobs for the people of Western Sydney, an area that has been crying out for new employment opportunities. He also stated that airports are proven investment and job magnets. The Western Sydney airport will be much more than just a runway and a terminal. It will be a fully fledged aerotropolis and Western Sydney will be at the forefront of the industries and jobs of the future. The New South Wales opposition leader and member for Auburn also supports the Western Sydney airport stating it is his uh, second priority for Western Sydney. He stated that, and I quote, the new airport can be the greatest jobs driver for Western Sydney. But there seems to be some disunity in the Labor Party regarding this project. As a federal member for Macquarie, Susan Templeman, is staunchly against, against the second airport and has publicly spoken against the member for Auburn, stating, quote, Mr Foley's attempt to make the airport more attractive just makes, means more planes, more pollution and more pain for the Blue Mountains and the Western suburbs. There certainly seems to be disunity in the Labor Party regarding this, the Blue Mountains Council and Blacktown Council still are controlled by Labor, still opposing the airport. But uh, <coughs> one, uh, one, uh, one MP has been noticed to be quiet uh, regarding the Western Sydney Airport and the significant benefits it will bring to his electorate, the member for Liverpool. He, he, he needs to speak up and let the people of Liverpool know whether he stands, where he stands on the second airport issue and 
and supports the jobs for his community. He can't hide from this issue, or maybe he should just retire.